When we mix copper with sulfuric acid, there's really two outcomes that can happen. One, if we have dilute H2SO4, and in this case, it's dissolved in water. We would call it aqueous, dissolved in water. And the other is when we have copper plus concentrated H2SO4, which is essentially just a liquid. There's really not much, if any, water involved in concentrated H2SO4. So when we mix copper plus dilute H2SO4, dissolved in water, we need to look at the activity series to see what will happen. So as we go down the activity series, the top we have the most reactive, at the bottom the least. We go down, here's hydrogen, and then here's copper. Copper is below hydrogen, so copper is not going to be able to come in and replace the hydrogen. It's just not active enough. Because of that, there won't be any reaction when we mix copper with dilute sulfuric acid. It's a different story when we mix copper plus concentrated sulfuric acid. In this case, there is a reaction, and these are the products. We could balance this equation by putting a 2 in front of the H2SO4 and then putting a 2 in front of the H2O. So that would balance the equation. We'd be obeying the law of conservation of mass. So these are the two things that can happen when you put Cu plus H2SO4. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.